Okay. Work folders. Enable and configure work folders. Now, if you go to file and storage services, you see the option for work folders there, right? Now, if you click on it, you see it says use the work folders rule service uh, to use the work folders. The work folder services must be what? Now, if you click on this, it will bring up the work folder services. You can see RS hostable web calls is also needed. Is that not correct? Remember, whenever you want to add a row, it always asks you to add certain features that enables the row. But that's a GUI way for doing it. If you expand, if you expand the file and storage services on add rows, that's where you see the work folders there. Are we, are we together? But in this lab, we're actually using the command prompt to do it. The PowerShell, rather. So let's go to PowerShell, run as administrator, and we type add dash windows feature space fs dash sync service sorry sync share service press enter so let's see it's going through so we'll just wait for it to finish okay so if you see there uh, the installation is running through remember we can also do this on the GUI interface is that not correct is that not correct we can also do this on the GUI interface so we'll allow this to go through now when it's finished the next step we're going to do is to create a sync share on the file folder now while this is running through can we go to drive c go to drive c go to the drive c of your computer then right click and create a new folder call the folder cop the c o r p crop data call it crop data okay crop data you can open that folder and probably just create one or two content there you can create a folder called crop one crop one uh, text document sorry and create another text document crop two crop two okay you can minimize that it's fine okay it says warning windows automatic of uh windows automatic update is not enabled so to ensure that newly installed rows uh, or features is automatically updated turn on windows updates you know windows from time to time do up update some of these features are you getting me mm -hmm. uh, like dns any other add-ons like things like that so that's why the warning is here it says everything was true it was successful and the result shows that the work folder and the rrs hostable web call services was what installed the next task is to is to create a sync share now open your command prompt with on administrator open your PowerShell. sorry open your PowerShell with administrative uh, permission then we're going to type the next command new dash sync share so we're going to call the name cop it's just like the way you, you not know, like the way you give a shared name, huh? You guys remember like the way you remember when you share a folder that will have a shared name. You can have a folder that you share, but you can give it a different shared name. So that's exactly what we're doing here. Remember, we're using what we call the work folders. Are we together? Now the next step, it's space dash path space c double colon backward slash cop data let me just be sure that is exactly the way i spelt it okay crop data okay then um dash space dash user I'm giving the permissions now huh bracket open my domain name is pce forward slash domain users in bracket close
Now press enter. It says uh, destination enabled uh, PC dot local uh, crop data uh, users permissions. Okay. Now let's go back to the server manager. Now we're back to the server manager. Can you click on file and storage services? Now, what I want you to do, come and click on work folders just to confirm if exactly what we'll be doing on the command pro on the PowerShell is actually visible on the GUI interface. Okay, let's come in here and refresh. Let's see if it's appearing. Screw down, let's see. It's just appearing. Let me refresh my server now, let's see. Right now, your computer. Huh? Just refresh, refresh your server. Now you notice we created domain users. Is that not correct? Now these are all the available domain users on our computer system. Is that not correct? Right? Is that not correct? Because we added a group, domain users, right? We said all the users who are in what? Domain what? Users. And they all appear here. Is that not correct? That's the permissions there. That is our work folder name called COP. But we all know that COP is not actually the name of the folder. The folder is actually called COP what? Data. Is that not correct? Now the next step we're going to be doing, um, we're going to automate the policy by using the group policy settings. Are we together? We're going to automate the settings for the users by using the group policy settings. So the next step we're going to do now is to go to the group policy settings. Now let's go to the tools menu, uh, scroll down, and click on group policy management. Make sure your group policy management is open. That's why I'm expanding my screen for you to see it. Okay, expand your forest, expand your domains, and expand your domain.local. So right click on your domain, right click on your domain, and create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I want you to call it work folders. Work folders. Then click OK. Have you done that? Now go back to where you have work folders now. Click on it. Right click on the work folders and click on what? Edit. And it brings you up the group policy editor. Is that not correct? It brings you up the group policy editor. Now the next step I want you to do is to expand the user configuration because that's what we're going to be working, uh, setting up the work folders. So expand the user, um, the user configuration. Then you have policies. Do you see policies there? Expand the policies. Then expand administrative templates. You can push this a little bit so that you can see exactly what's going on. Now if you expand administrative templates, then go to Windows Components, expand it, then look for W, which is towards the end, Work Folders. Did you see Work Folders there? It's actually the last option there. Is that not correct? And we only have how many settings there? One setting. Is that not correct? There's only one group policy settings. Remember, these are group policy settings, right? So click on it. Now remember, if you look at the policy setting, it says requirements. At least Windows 8.1 or Windows ROT 8.1, which is, of course, if you're using a tablet. Are you getting me? Yeah. So those of you that have Windows 8.1, yeah? JP. Yeah. So it's only going to work in those computers, yeah? So you need to set up your Windows 8. Now, let's right-click and click on Edit. Or you can double-click on it, huh? You can double click on it, it will also still open the policy. Now the policy is open. 
of course we're going to enable the policy is that not correct so we'll click enable now on the url path what i want you to type is http can you type that word http double colon forward slash now remember what is the name of your server our server name is server one is that not correct so it's svr what one then we put it dot tce tce dot what that doesn't mean to be uh, uh cap so just put it here yeah. now did you see where it says select um where it says force automatic setup huh select it now uh, you're done and click um, apply and click on what okay have you done that now close the policy you can also close the group policy management icon now we all know our best practice is that not correct is to force the group policy settings is that not correct so let's type gp updates space forward slash what force is that not correct so let's force the policy updates computer policy updated so waiting for the user policy wow everything is up to date is that not correct is that not correct so let's move now to the clients let's go to the start menu uh go to search type work folders now it brings up to work folders can you see that huh now if you click on work folders here it tells you that sign into your PC again to finish the setting up your work folder. Please sign out and sign back. Work folders will then set up using additional setting provided by your group policy. Huh? So, what we need to do, let's sign in and sign out again. Let's uh, log in within the policy. Let's sign out. Sign in again as a user. And try it again. Just for the what I'm doing. Work folders. Okay, click on work folders again. Okay, if it's, okay let, let's try something else. Uh, let's try to connect to it. As for now, um, normally um, when you type the work folders here, because that's not working for us for now, so we don't want to kill ourselves. When you type it, it's supposed to come up, and the set is supposed to appear here. So I don't know if we have to restart the server, reboot the client computer system. Probably it's going to work, but for now it doesn't work, so it's fine. We just keep it. Normally when we click on that, the work folder should appear here with cup C. Then I can open it, I can add content from here, and it will appear as well on the server. Any other user who is also add, um, working with this work folder will also have the same content as well. Are we together? So I'll just stop there for the work folders and um, we'll move on to something else, okay? The next step is uh, configuring, creating a configuring printer pooling. So let's go to that.